let's take a look at reporting. First up, we'll look at sales reports. To set up a report, you must select the report type, the measure, and the date range. Filters can be applied to your reports to refine it further down, and all of this information can be exported to a CSV for recording purposes. Now, sales report types consist of the summary, a user report to track staff performance, outlet reports to see your store performance, register report to see an individual register performance, and then further customer group performances so you could potentially see maybe what your VIP customers are purchasing. And then towards the bottom, we have uh, specific product reports as well. Once you know your report type, you can select the measure. So measure options include things like basket size and value. So if you want to know how many items you're selling on average per transaction and how much each uh, transaction is worth on average, that's all trackable. You can see your discounting, uh, gross profits, uh, margins, revenue, total sale counts and taxes. So it's quite a broad range there that you can uh, choose for the measure. And it's then time to select a date range for the report. Here you have the option to either compare two dates using a set date range, or you can specify your own custom date range. Now that we know the structure of event report, let's take a look at producing a sales report. Maybe we would like to find out what the average basket size was for each of our stores last month. We'll select the outlet option as the report type, We'll then choose basket size as the measure and we'll change the date range to the previous month. The report is instantly available showcasing last month's figures. But what about something else? Let's see how much revenue each staff member produced last month. We'll select user, revenue and then leave the date range for the previous month. The report is displayed with all the relevant details. Filtering reports further is also possible. You just click the filter button and type whatever you would like in the search bar. In this case, we would like to filter down to a specific product. So we'll search for it and click on the product we're looking for. Once selected, the report is refined further to show the staff revenue brought in last month just for this particular item. The filter can then be edited to change to another option like you want to track a certain brand or supplier. And remember that all reports can be exported out to CSV.